Now the design phase is completed. We have successfully created three activities and built their user interface. As you can see here, this is the sign up activity with email, password, and repeat password, and text, and a button to perform the sign up and a reference to sign in if user is not uh, user already has an account so he or she can click here and log in with using that credentials and we have this activity mentor xml that will be shown when user is logged in it will be showing the user's detail user email address over here and there is another login activity where user can perform the login operation so it is time to start writing the code and first thing we need to do is just make the these intent filters back to the main activity so that the main activity could be uh, initiated as soon as the app launches so inside that main activity the only thing we need to do is we need to check if the user is logged in and e logged in or not we can do that by getting the instance of firebase on so first create an instance private firebase auth and we can call it m firebase auth let's initialize this instance m firebase auth is equal to firebase auth dot get instance now we got the instance of the firebase auth after getting the instance of firebase auth we need to check it if the if there is some user or not so we do that inside on start function and here we need to get the user which is we can do, do that by m5 auth dot get current user it will be returning an uh, object of firebase user class so we need to store them in firebase user class firebase user m5 user is equal to this one now if there is some user the, that user's detail will be stored in this instance if there is not then we can we can actually check it that right here so if m firebase user is not equal to null which means there is some user logged in otherwise no one login so if there is no user login we need to start the login activity and kill this main activity so we, we we can do that with start activity function and here we need to provide intent so we create a new anonymous intent and pass two attributes first one is this which is the current activity and the second is the target activity which is login activity dot class now that uh, login activity is created we need to finish this one so that user cannot come back by just pressing the back button so now let's run the app so as you can see we are starting the main activity but when the on start function is started and it uh, check this condition and it found that there is no user logged in so it started the login activity that we can see here so in this way we can check if user is there or not user is logged in or not so in the next activity we will be uh, implementing the sign up functionality sign in functionality actually thank you for watching